One of the biggest things that's happened to amateur golfers, especially of my generation, I'm 43, is we were so beat to death on lag, 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 lag. You gotta lag the club so we can be here. Well, what people didn't realize until TrackMan came out is that having too little lag was just as bad as having too much lag. Because what happens is it makes it very, very difficult for you to program the correct dynamic loft at impact. And all dynamic loft is, is what loft do you hit the golf ball with? This driver has 10.5 degrees of loft. I have it set here on standard. So if I return it right back to its neutral position, then I have 10.5 loft. If I lean the shaft forward a couple degrees, obviously it has less and obviously I've added more. So a lot of times people have too much lag. So I wanna show you what happens to a shot when you have too much lag. You tend to deal off the club and what happens is when you deal off the club, the angle of attack or the difference between the angle of attack and the dynamic loft goes way, way, way down. So you get a lot of compression but you don't get a lot of control and you don't have enough ball speed and height to keep it in the air long enough to go anywhere. So this is what you happen to see when you see those people with too much lag. They hit that low bullet right there. Okay, it's great for a windy day. It's great when the balls are chasing out, but it's not a very good shot for a day-to-day -day type of game. So remember, Yes, we need lag. We need a flat left wristed impact, a bent right wristed impact, all those wonderful things, but don't overdo it. This is just as bad as that. Go work on it.